All right, everybody, we are back in the Gryffindor common room. Oh, sorry, I mean the Hufflepuff common room. Today we are doing, well, technically not a main quest. I think we are actually doing the relationship quests. I believe that's what it is. Companion quest, maybe? I don't know. So we got two here, one with uh, Not Sionai and one with Sebastian Salo. So we're going to start off with In the Shadow of the Bloodline. Sebastian and Ominous were seen arguing in the Great Hall. I should find out what this is about. If you're gonna take a break from the main main quest, we're kind of speeding through it, honestly. So, I didn't even get near you. What the heck is wrong with you? Revelio. Well, whatever. Let's keep going. How far away is this? Okay, it's right there. So. I figured I'd take a break from the main quest that we're very quickly going through. How nice to see you, my young friend. Who is that? Oh, Ignatia. Forgot the statue can speak. I always forget that. The heck was that? There's a flu here, too. Anything to do with the Dark Heart should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. I can't agree. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. I won't give up. Sebastian Salo. What were you and Ominous speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Omina swears it was used for the Dark Arts, so he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. Yeah, I mean, the Dark Arts are dangerous. Ominous is right. Meddling in the Dark Arts is dangerous. There's more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous's family history is personal to him. I mean, you don't have to tell me. I understand. You needn't tell me if you don't want to. If I were you, I'd be begging for more details. Um, I am a bit curious. It's not that I'm not interested. And you can certainly trust me if you want to tell me anything. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus Curse? Uh... I mean, it's been used towards me, I think, by, uh, Falberton Castle? Crucio, correct? The Cruciatus Curse, also known as the Torture Curse, inflicts excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently, his parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting us on muggles for sport. Ominous described the sound of the victim's cries as horrific, so the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. As punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. How horrible. Poor Ominous. He was only a child. He shouldn't blame himself. After that exactly. incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me. And more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. Okay, this was very short. I'll make Ominous understand. He'll change his mind. I mean, that was very short. I was expecting it a little bit bigger. Oh, we're back in the Great Hall. I haven't visited this since, uh... The sorting We're ceremony. Ready. Oh, there it is. Okay. Well, the other one we have available is not Sionai. Meet in Lower Hogsfield, I believe. The Lost Child. We did get another quest right before I started the video. Obviously, gold icon. Maybe this won't take that long and we'll go ahead and do this. Meet Poppy Sweeting in the far north of Hogwarts. Okay. 
But for now, let's go meet Natsai Onai in Lower Hogsfield. I really wish they would they wouldn't have made it individual areas. I get it. If you could just like click on it, if you could just click on this instead of set waypoint, you could actually zo uh, zoom in that way. But having it different areas on the map is kind of weird to me. Well, I don't have a. I don't have anything near here. I mean, this is kind of the closest. Nothing, really. Okay, well, I guess I'm going over here. And I'll, uh... Call in High Wing for this... For a short trip. The tool wheel... Okay, I <laughs> didn't even get to read it. Remember the tool wheel in diff difficult situations. Oh, I forgot it turned Christmas or winter time. That's pretty sick. Oh, I love that. It looks freaking beautiful out here. Dude, Hogwarts winter time is awesome. Okay. Take a nap on the floor again. I pressed ominous regarding Salazar Slytherin scriptorium, but my efforts were in vain. Meet me outside the Slytherin common room. We need to talk. Okay, that was a quick response. I will do that after this. Is this Mr. Bickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Hallow. We need to speak with him. Okay. My husband. What will I do? Uh, is her husband gone too now? Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow. I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks, and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? Um... He must be around here somewhere. When did you last yeah. see him? Yeah. Archie was home with his father while I was out. His satchel's missing. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... When my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? Um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father... Uh, I'm afraid to leave in case he comes back home. I'll go search for him. Yeah, we'll, we'll find, find your son. Your Let's son, go right Mrs. to it. Bickle. Thank you. <laughs> What am I going to do? <laughs> Don't want to leave a kid in the cold, so let's go do that first. Please do not walk. Where could Archie have gone? Yeah, let's sprint. Ooh, another goblin. When I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bickle. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Harlow. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but... We were too late. What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hippogriffs cannot speak. Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Hallow that we need. We will need something more. Rebellion. This must be little Archie's hideout that Miss mentioned. Archie? Archie Bickle! He would not have done this to his own hideout. Oh, somebody Someone did trash it, yeah. For him. Revelio may be our only hope of finding out which way he went. There! Archie's footprints! He went this way! A 
Okay, Revelio does not I extend this far. I thought would have found Archie by now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Men like Harlow would not think twice about killing a child. We must find Archie quickly. Okay, I don't see the... There they are. Got to keep on casting. I was like, I don't see the footprints anymore. There's some moonstone down there, I think. Yep. Wolves! Prepare for a fight. Protego! Ooh. <laughs> Too bad. He didn't cross paths with that wolf pack. We should look around. Investigate the area. Let me uh, collect this fur just in case I need it. Oh, there's a sign. Archie or a bag. Satchel. Why would he leave it behind? Because he was taken. He was likely running from Hollow, distracted. This may be a good time for Revelio again. Revelio. Archie went this way. It's almost hard to see the footprints in the snow. I have a bad feeling about this. Yes, yeah, so do Hala I. must have a reason for pursuing Archie. I wonder what Archie saw. Maybe he has a camera? I hope he didn't see Harlow kill his father. He would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. I mean, if we take down Harlow, it'd be pretty, pretty, uh, worthwhile. Revelio! A fork in the road. We will need Revelio again. Thank you. Multiple sets of footprints. Oh, Halo caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. <sighs> yeah, this is... <laughs> they better not hurt a kid. It's on, though. If that's the case, I'll go all uh, Liam Neeson. Oh, that's a freaking Thestral. What the heck? I thought that was a, thought that was a log on the floor. Thestrals. They are beautiful, ah, are they not? In a weird way. You can see Thestrals too. I witnessed death when I was nine. Saw my first Thestral shortly thereafter. I really I thought those were logs. I still do. I Rebellion. think those of us who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. My mother was away and I felt quite helpless. Ooh. It was a long time ago in some ways. But in other ways, it seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must miss him. My father was a wonderful man. I... <clears throat> Let us keep moving. We must find Archie. I didn't realize you wanted to stop and talk. Instead of finding the kid, how about that? Yeah, but I really thought that Thestral was a log on the floor. I really did. Uh oh, bad guys. Charmed tent. Taking in children now, are we? Potato! Stupid one! Huh! Send me out! Everyone gets left! Oh, you had to Expelliarmus! 
Incendio! Protect! Arrest the momentum! Levy also! This is a fuck! <sighs> Confringo! Uh, the odds! There we go. Got him. <laughs> so there's a charmed tent. Oh, this is a, uh... This is the trial of Merlin, isn't it? You know what? Let's go ahead and do it. Just real quick. It'll only take a second. What do we have to do? Wingardium Leviosa. Yeah, I don't know what we're supposed to do there. Okay, let's uh, ignore that. This one looks a little trickier. Is it uh? Lumos. What the heck am I doing here? Revelio. Levioso. Accio. Nope. What other spells do I have? Yeah, we'll figure that out some other time. Get this charm tent. Is, is Harlow in here? Ashwinder tent. Okay. Oh, oh my god. I... Okay. I know they're charm tents to make them big, but... I did not expect but... this tent to be so large on the inside. Yeah, I don't That's think they can get this big. I really don't think they can get this big. Can I just, uh, depulso this? Depulso. Nope. Can't go this way, then. You don't think so. Confringo! <laughs> That wasn't too bad. Gotta keep that combo going. Oh, Captain Haggerty. Really, I pressed Y. Accio. about the feats. I just want to, you know, maybe save the kid. Yep, on my way, kid. Let me find out how the heck we get down there. The heck's over here? Where the heck am I going? Revelio. Something over here lead down. Oh, there's stairs. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yep, give me one second, kid. Please calm down. Please. I'm yes, I'm right here. I just I want gold as well. Archie. Archie Bickle. How do you know who I am? Your mother sent us to find you. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Not too loud, Archie. 
Why? We already beat everybody here. Oh, we need to get this open. Oh, yeah, I got this. Hello, Thank God it isn't level two. For real, thank God it isn't level two. Speak with Archie. I'm Uncle Tarlo. He killed my father. We're so sorry, Archie. We won't let him get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now let's get you home. We know a safe way back. I wish we could learn Apparate. Like, I, I know we have the flu system, so that's the fast travel system for this game. But it'd be so cool to just have a spell. I mean, I get big locations would have a flu. I mean, I, I guess most of these would have a flu. But I still wish you could just apparate. It, it's grown on me, the the image of uh, what happens when you, like your body twists into like this little cone. It's really creepy at first, but it's grown on me. I wish we could do that. Oh, Archie, you're here. Oh, oh you're safe. Mother? Oh, mother? Father's friends are in danger. I heard the people who took me talking about them. Which friends, darling? Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. Mr. Filbert. And I think they also said Otto's name. Oh, I shall speak with them. You run inside. Yes, mother. Johanna Bickle. Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. He already is. It may be too late for that. I'm afraid Harlow's already after us. Then you needn't anger him further. I assure you, the threat could be a lot worse. Please, please keep your distance. I think I could take I'm him. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. I mean, so not far, to the worry, toughest Mrs. thing we've Bickle. fought. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help each other. Okay, what are we doing I now? I must learn more about Mr. Bickle's friends and why Harlow is after them. You'll be hearing from me as soon as I know something. Thank you for your help today. No problem. One of my best friends in this game. So, so far, the toughest enemy we've fought, I think, is a uh, Pensieve Guardian. Well, two times in both trials. But I think that's honestly the toughest enemy we've fought. The trolls are not that tough. I got hit a couple times, but that was because I was being careless. I got I didn't dodge in time. But so far, the toughest enemy that I've actually died to, I think still the only enemy I've ever died to, is the Pensieve Guardian. So, wait, no, I didn't even really die to him. I think I got pushed off the map. More than anything. Oh, yes. Okay, we're definitely doing this. Meet Sebastian uh, in the shadow of the study. And I get Crucio for this. Oh, we are definitely doing this. Slytherin common room. I don't exactly think I have a flu for that one. Um... I think I'll go to Ravenclaw Tower. I think that's on the... No, it's not on the way. Lower Grand Staircase. That'll work. So, Reve okay. It was a Revelio hint that I barely got to look at. Yeah, that's Pr Protego. I know that one. It says keeping one force, one control. Yeah, I know that. I know that tip. Do we get to go into the Slytherin Common Room? Because I need that uh, blue if I can. Brilliant. I received your owl. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the dark arts, the better prepared we'll be. That's a fair point. only a Gaunt knows the location of the Scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. Hmm. Perhaps I should have a chat with Ominous. You? I suppose it's worth a try. But don't get your hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. Nothing new. I know where he is. I'll lead you to him and then leave you to it. Come on. 
He's in the common room, isn't he? He's this way. No, he's not. Man, I wanted to get that flu. <laughs> I still love the knight statues. Keep an eye out. Never know who's watching. Although that hasn't stopped us before. Strictly speaking, it has. We were caught. Yeah, <laughs> Damn fair point. Geist. Such a nuisance. Revelio. Oh, one of these again. There he is. Good luck. I got this. Time to put on the charm. What are you doing here? Hello, Ominous. Do you have a moment? What is it? What have you and Sebastian been up to now? I owe you an apology, Ominous. I wasn't honest with you before about the Undercroft. Sebastian did show it to me. He wanted me to have a safe place to practice some spells to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. <sighs> I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something and I'm frustrated with him. Don't tell me he's still going on about, what was it, a scriptorium? He told you about that. He did. We were talking about Hogwarts founders and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is better left untouched. Wait, you've never been inside? Of course not. I only know about it because of my favorite aunt, Noctua. She thought like I do. Didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. In fact, she'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pureblood status. She'd heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access, and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. I understand your caution. That's a bit unnerving. I suppose even if it might lead to answers about what happened to your aunt, it does pose a risk. Aunt Noctua went down this path with good intentions and lost her life. I don't want the same to happen again. You don't know that history will repeat itself. Besides, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honor her memory, get you answers about Slytherin and Sebastian answers for Anne. Your aunt pursued this alone. We could do it together. Hmm. With the power of friendship. I see what you've done here. And I confess, you've convinced me. I didn't think it possible. Very well. I shall tell you what I know. Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. I hope I... We don't regret this. Sebastian! Over here! These braziers grant access to the scriptorium. Now you'll share? You wouldn't tell me when I practically back you. <laughs> It wasn't you who told me what I needed to hear. Confringo. Opening the entrance has something to do with trees. Well, three heads, something's happening. Wait, did that I work? I hope we're ready for this. I didn't even mean to do that yet. <laughs> okay. I just thought it'd make sense to light these or something if they're braziers. Dark, I cut off their conversation, corridors. man. My bad. My favorite. No comment. Come on, that was a good one. Was oh, this a Rapero moment? Looks like a locked door. We may want to look around. I must prove my point. We do not need to use the dark arts as my family instructs. When I reach the scriptorium, I will find evidence that there's more to Salazar Slytherin, uh, Slytherin than we realize. I've written my brother. He knows how I access the corridor's entrance and that there's no straight path to reach the scriptorium. It's a maze with many challenges to solve. I hope that my brother will follow my lead and we can study our ancestors' legacy together. A journal entry, signed by Noctua Gaunt. Gaunt? So, where's Rapero? Ominous, your family was Rapero. here. The rubble formed a relief of a person facing a snake. That must be the voice I hear. The voice is ancient. Sinister. You hear a voice. It started when you repaired that relief. I hear a whisper saying, speak to me. I'm a parcel mouth. I can hear and speak to snakes. Nearly all known parcel mouths are descended from Salazar Slytherin. I'd like to be able to talk to snakes. You might not want the ability to speak parcel tongue. 
It's often associated with dark wizards. I do in fact I want that spoken spoke. it in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. I'm hoping you're having second thoughts. <laughs> second and third thoughts. Believe me, I am having thoughts, but I'm still convinced we should go ahead. It's ironic. When I left home, I vowed to leave the dark arts behind, and yet here I am. Stand back. I thought it was. I, I thought it was going to be about this. the uh, the basilisk below the school for another hundred years. It worked. Ominous. You possess a rare ability indeed. Pretty Between cool ability. You, I'm starting to feel left out. Between the two of us, I. Never mind. I was about to say, snakes are one of the few animals I have, like, a, a respect There's for. No I don't want to be near them. Like a maze. They don't terrify me like spiders. Wanted this to be difficult to solve. Rebellion. The door we came from, it closed. And there's more than one gate ahead. Then look for each gate for clues. The dial requires focus. Art Noctua said the same. It may take practice to solve it. Sound good. I don't. Yeah. Salazar Slytherin didn't make this easy. I don't get it. Oh, is it supposed to be this? The symbols, spiral infinity, or circle infinity? Oh, that was right. Okay. It's on the doorway next to it. Is that Matching it? Matching the symbols did open it. Was about to do that myself, but you got to it first. <laughs> Nice work. Oh, so there's multiple options. So we're proceeding this way? Because... But like I said, there's there's still going to be a basilisk... Revelio. For I think another hundred years. Oh, this is a drop-off. This is three of five. Ominous. Your aunt wanted to change your family's traditions. She did. And she was my favorite person in the world for it. Oh, the door's through there. I don't I don't have the uh Confringo. I don't think I have the answer to this yet. Let me backtrack for a second. Where's the other brazier? Revelio. That's on that side. So freaking dark. So that is hard to see. Weird shape and then an A in a weird font. Okay. Another, not the welcoming sword, was it? Oh, that one. Can I exit this? Every dial seems to be getting more difficult, but we've made it this far. Don't give up. Where is the freaking answer? What else is there to be based off of besides this door? Can I... Oh, I can go in here. Confringo. Maybe this one is the weird shape. Oh, here's two. This journal entry, it mentions getting lost and being unwelcome. So I'll try this one on this. Another gate. Seems Slytherin like to play games. Yes, it was this one. Okay. That's right in the family. So there's going to be a, a mirror, third Sebastian. gate. That sounded promising. Another dial solved. Impressive. Nice work. Number four. Not sure reference is painful and arduous challenges, but also rewards. Painful. That's the part I'm wary of. Goldfish A. Okay. Keep going. We've got more to solve ahead. Search each corridor. It may not be obvious which leads where. 
So backtrack here. That I think that was Goldfish A. Yeah, pretty much the closest I can get to remembering that. So. There we go. That does look like a goldfish, Excellent and that does work. look like an A. We're another step closer to the scriptorium. Okay, it's a big maze. That's what she said. And I, uh, I'm not doubting that at the moment. I spotted something ahead. Looks troubling. Ah, uh, yeah, a little bit. What do we... The gate! I think we're locked in. Again. Then Salazar Slytherin is not yet finished with us. I've lost hope. I'm locked in. I heard a scream and saw the tortured faces. The only way it forward is with an unforgivable curse. Even if I wanted to cast it, I have no one upon whom to do so. Salazar Slytherin created a malicious challenge indeed. Dang. Okay, so we made a trap. So. Ominous. A skeleton. And Noctua's last journal entry. She mentions being trapped here, blocked by an unforgivable curse. This is where she died. This is where we'll die. I shouldn't have listened to either of you. They just cast Ominous. it on me. I'm truly sorry about your aunt. But I know what to do. It's going to be difficult. Yeah, just cast it on me. I can't feel pain. Done. You said you know what to do. Tortured faces on the door and Crucio is etched into the stone. My guess is if we cast the Cruciatus curse, the door will open. That's why Noctua died. She had no one to cast the curse on. Ominous has the most experience with this. He should cast it. You seem to be in Ominous's favor. Will you ask him about this? Yeah, I'll ask him. He does seem a bit cross with you. I'll speak with him. Good. Work your magic, so to speak. Yeah, my excellent charm, as you can tell. Wish we had some liquid luck. All of this could have been avoided. It's okay, man. Just cast it on me. Ominous. I hadn't imagined we'd end up trapped like this. Salazar Slytherin did. He's to blame for many unimaginable things. You're not wrong. I overheard you and Sebastian, and I won't do it. The Cruciatus Curse is pure torture, I would know. Sebastian told me a little of what happened when you were young. Sounds as if you had no choice. <sighs> Should have known he would have told you. <sighs> and one always has a choice. I'm as guilty as the worst of my family. Unforgivable curses won't work unless you really mean them. I had to want to cause pain, and for that I shall never forgive myself. That spells the reason I have no family left. You and Sebastian will need to sort out another solution. If you cast Crucio, you will regret it forever. Well, no I won't. Incorrect. What do we do now? Ominous is not going to cast the Cruciatus Curse again. Ridiculous! As if dying in here is a better option than casting a damned spell. That's what I was thinking. <sighs> It's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. Wait, you didn't say you knew how to cast Crucio. Because I'm not sure I do. Ominous knows that, yet he's left us no choice. I don't yearn to follow in Noctua Gaunt's footsteps. I think I can cast it if I have to. Okay, okay, I was just about to ask, is it one or the other? Do I learn it and have to cast it on him? Or do I not learn it? And uh, he casts on me. But since there's an option, I want to learn the Cruciatus Curse, but you must cast it on me. I want to learn the curse, but I won't cast it on you. You need to cast it on me. I shan't forget this. Yeah, I just want to learn the spell. I don't feel pain. I'd feel bad to do it for... Uh, to Sebastian. Been a great dude. our first unforgivable about time ready I'm ready yeah. 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 
Are you all right? That pain, it was excruciating. But I'll survive. Let's keep moving. We made it. We found Salazar Slytherin Scriptorium. I can't believe we're here. Sebastian, ominous. There's a book just here. You found something. You two go ahead. Revelio. Let me know what's in it. I wander around with it. Yeah, there's a reason I, uh, I had him cast it on me. I mean, my name, my character's name, is, well, is named after Joshua Graham from Fallout New Vegas, whose literal quote is, I survived because the fire inside me burned brighter than the fire around me. If that dude can't take pain, I don't know who can. Well, he's just named Sebastian. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay, this is this is a note of Dang. I shall place the creature into a deep sleep in its chamber until it can be awakened by one who shares my views. A descendant willing to reverse the damage that the others have so carelessly wrought carelessly wrought. One who shall rid the school of those unworthy of Hogwarts that would only serve to stain my legacy. Dang, so he's talking about the basilisk. He has to be. So he, th he thought Godric was, uh, thoughts were aligned with his own. That's insane to think about. <sighs> yeah, crazy stuff. Okay, give the book to Sebastian. We got our first Unforgivable. We should be able to learn the other two, probably from Sebastian as well. What do you think? Looks like a spell book of some kind. This is incredible. A Hogwarts founder's possession. What an honor. Still can't believe Ominous never told me about his aunt and what she found. What will you do with Slytherin's spellbook? What I do with every book. Read it. Having professors as parents ingrained that habit early on. But I can Wait, do that what? later. For now, I say we explore this room. I didn't know your parents were professors. It's breathtaking. I've been getting an uneasy feeling about this place. Let's find a way out, please. I don't want to leave, but I owe you. Both of you. Yeah, Without you just... both of you, we'd never have made it this far. We were lucky. We could have died. We must swear never to do this again. I mean, that's kind of fair. Slytherin dungeon, okay. I see a way out. Best news I've heard all day. Ominous. About your aunt. Please, Sebastian. I meant what I said before. We swear, right now, never to engage in anything to do with dark magic again. Understood. I'm truly sorry about your aunt, Ominous. I suppose after all this, I am grateful to know what happened to her. Thank you. We probably could have recovered her bones for your family. You know, before we just left the chamber. Revelio. Okay, oh, there's a level up. Perfect. Perfect timing. So we have dark arts now. Oh, ho, ho. Crucio Mastery, I'm getting it. Right straight ahead. So we have no new quests from uh, Natsai, I, I don't think. Okay. Well, this was an eventful, eventful episode to me. I finally got our first Unforgivable, which I've been waiting so long for. I was wondering when it would, how long it would take to get him. Because I heard you about him being in the game. He and... must have nearly wet himself when you won every single crossed once battle. I wish there were more of those, by the way. Why can't we have more duels? That was very awesome. But it was, it was way too easy. But, like I said, uh, this is where I'm going to call it for this part. 
Um, next time we'll carry off with Poppy Sweeting. Where, where'd she want to meet at? In the area to the far north of Hogwarts as the broom flies. Let's see that on the world map. Oh, pretty far away. Okay. Oh, very far away. Okay. So I can just... I'll, I'll just hop on uh, High Wing. But I hope you guys enjoy this part. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave any feedback down below. Once again, I, I, I appreciate the support. I've gotten a lot of very nice comments um, about, about my channel and uh, on certain games I've been playing. But I always love to hear your feedback, so be sure to leave it down below. I love reading comments, and I love responding. So I will see you guys next time. Take care.